Hello, my name is Rob Amon. I'm the Energy Chain Product Specialist for IGAS Inc. North America. Today we're going to be talking about the unsupported span of an energy chain in the FLG and FLB charts. When we're talking about an energy chain within its travel, there's the upper run as it moves down the travel will begin to get longer and longer. We need to make sure that the chain can support itself throughout that travel. And so a few things that we will look at within the, uh, within the specs are the travel distance, the speeds, acceleration, the environment, also the weights that are going in there. As you can see from this power cable, it's a pretty large power cable. It would add quite a bit of weight to the energy chain. But not just this, you may have servo cables, power cables, data cables, control cables, hydraulic hoses. They all will contribute to the weight that goes in an energy chain. Our energy chains are molded with pretension built into them. And so this helps with the unsupported span. But eventually we may get to the point where there's too much weight or there is too much travel for an energy chain and our chains will begin to sag. And as they begin to sag, there'll be forces put in motion that can hinder the longevity of an energy chain. So we'd like to avoid getting to what we call critical sag. It would look something similar to this. And if you end up with something similar to this, with the forces that are being pushed in the center here, you may end up with a break in your chain. So as we look at every single energy chain series, we have what we call an FLG and FLB chart. We would like to maintain our chains end up near the FLG chart just through experience and through, uh, through our testing facility because the chains will last millions of cycles if they are maintained around that FLG line. We'd like to avoid the sag because it also will affect the speeds and acceleration that an application can run at as well. The idea is the right chain for your application. So if you are experiencing some sag, maybe we should look at a larger chain, a different series style chain, uh, a different type of solution, but the idea is the right, uh, right energy chain for your application. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions on any of the content we've covered, please reach out to me, and thank you again.